Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the South Park Center. I'm here with Jonathan with his movie, Isabel. Let's take a look at a clip. What's your name again? Uh, Taryn. Well, Taryn Lee. <laughs> that sounds made up. Well, it is. But I mean, isn't every name when you think about it? I mean, who came up with it? Isabel. It's biblical. Well, so whoever wrote that is probably... God. Right, go make me a bagel. Jonathan, thank you very much for being here. Thank and you for having me. Coming from San Diego to be here yeah, as well. Yeah, indeed. Um, for those that haven't seen your wonderful film, tell us a brief synopsis. Well, the... Um, the story is basically a caregiver goes to work for a really cantankerous elderly woman who um, has early onset dementia um, and uh, how the relationship just sort of transforms one another. Yeah. And um, my approach was more, uh, let's kind of like celebrate the humor in that and the awkwardness of it. Mm -hmm. um, and then kind of segue into the more like heaviness of the subject matter. You got me in the very first take, like the first <laughs> moment when she sits down and I give too much away. But I was like, wow, I'm, yeah. I'm totally into this, you know? Thank and, you. And you already captured it. Um, where did the inspiration for this story began for you? Um, well, basically in San Diego, we have something called the FilmCon Challenge. And this movie was just a competition movie. I can't um, believe it. Yeah, and um, there's something called So Say We All in San Diego, which was, which is kind of similar to like This American Life or The yeah. Moth. It's like our version of it. Uh -huh. And you're basically given three stories and you get to pick one of the three stories. Um, and we picked it more because it gave an opportunity for women mm -hmm. and women of a certain age. Yeah. Um, the story we picked was, um, it was very well written, but it was just more of like, this is my life. Yeah. So we had to kind of figure out what's the story in there. Um, and I thought, I don't want to do something that's going to be dry. Yeah. Um, or heavy, even though it, it is important. I think that um, the idea of like showing what caretakers do is kind of important, never really talked about. Yes. Yeah. Um, I also thought that might be off-putting. Yeah. So I... I thought I like, well, maybe let's make this like a little bit like a Scorsese film, and then um, most importantly, and I don't know why I made this connection, but I thought it'd be really interesting to give it the same sensibility and like um, humorous take as <laughs> Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, yeah. So um, and it I captured I, that. Yeah, and I, yeah. I love like the Coen Brothers and things yeah. that are just a little wacky and off the wall, and yeah, uh, but yet still grand in reality. So. Um, I think anytime you see something that's really emotional, like Terms of Endearment, or just a magnificent play called Doxy's God, uh, they're really, really moving. They're like kind of tear jerkers, but they always start off really funny. Yeah. Like Terms of Endearment, for example, is considered a comedy. They, yeah. they push it like a comedy. Yeah. So I just thought when you do that, when you op get people to open up and laugh, you're opening everything up. It's and so, so when, it's when it's time to move them, it's, it's, they're already open for that. I love yeah. that. And I, I love that you, you took those elements on it as well about you. something, you know, caregivers give, literally give so much of themselves, so much. you know, yeah. and I think it's such an underserved area that we follow, particularly in the move and image, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and on top of that, you know, people that are suffering with dementia and an and, and older age and all of those things as well are, are such important elements. But the fact you kind of took this other twist on it and, 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 and almost a different outlook because you could have gone that one way of yeah. just going there but you you just kind of captured all elements with these these wonderful twists and was that kind of in, that was important to you to do it was very important yeah it, it, honestly it, that was um the hardest part was kind of um breaking the stories back like finding yeah. that you know um how, how you know how can you have twists how yeah. can you um uh, your characters were like pinpoint perfect. Like Thank I was you. just, I, Thank you. I, I, I love them. Thank um, you. And and so tell me a bit more about your about your character process and you know obviously your your main leader actress as well. Right. So um, the the woman who was the boss. Yeah. Um, is actually my producing partner. Oh great. And she's been uh, one of my best friends for over twenty years now. Yeah. So. It, she actually wanted the part. Sorry, girl. She wanted the part of the caregiver. Yeah, I hadn't written it yet, and I'm like, no, I, I want you the boss. I want you to do something that no one else can do, which is the comedy. Yeah. Um, and I might promise you it'll be a good, big, a good part. And she got nominated in the San Diego Film Awards. And then um, Kristen, who was the caregiver, came to me. I've known her. She's a really good uh, film actress, and she yeah. said, I'm, I'm available. And I'm like, okay. Um, and I had it because it's a competition. You only had two months, and I wrote it as I was casting it. Yeah. Um, Annie Hinton is um, 
sort of legend on the San Diego stage. And um, I'm a videographer for all the theater companies down there. It's my job. And I interviewed her, but I didn't really know her. And I just thought she was just amazing. And I, I wrote her a letter and I'm like, could you, would you consider this? And she said, yes. Oh, I so then I, I kind of wrote to their strengths and to who they were and what I knew they could do. Oh, that's, isn't, it, isn't it amazing when you just get people that you're inspired by yeah. to be in, in, in your yeah. projects? You what know? I've learned is if you tell a good story, you have good dialogue and you make rich characters, the actors, that's what they live for. Yeah. So they will, they will just pounce on that. Yeah. And so, and, and honestly, it, there's no greater joy than watching amazing actors speak your dialogue yeah. and speak it so much better than you imagine. And like, you, there would be lines where I'd say, I think, I think maybe I can do better with that. And then they would say it, and I'm like, there's no way. That's, that's ma you just, it's magic, you know? And, and, and I, love, I love this whole essence of time that was just in there as well. You know, I have yeah. this at this time. I have it. And, and just the reactions, like, you know, where I love that you just left the camera with them. And, Thank you. And, and we got to see their just absolute natural reaction. And sometimes they didn't need to say anything. It was right. just their, and it was so hysterically, it was brilliant. It was really great. That was in the original story. Um, yeah. She was obsessed. She always wanted to know what time it was. And so I'm like, let's incorporate that. You know, she likes to go to the beach and like, let's yeah. make it a thing. You know, like she has to mention, she, her biggest fear is losing, uh, forgetting the name of her husband. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and so. and, and 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 it's it's interesting because there is an element as well where people that do suffer from dementia, there's elements where, which about them that they're kind of actually obsessive, like the weather, for example. Yes, you know, in this particular instance, and you know, and. It, it's it's true. It's very true to actually what what one may go through if, if if they have that, or if you're a caregiver or someone that's gone through it. And I think I love the element that you took on that that it it wasn't kind of the doom and gloom of it. It was just the process of mm -hmm. of, of someone that was experiencing that with mm -hmm. a kind of a light comedy almost in there as well, which mm -hmm. I thought was wonderful. What was the biggest challenge you had in in making this one? To be honest, it, again, like, it was just joy making this. Oh, the, the biggest challenge. I mean, nothing exciting or. Just, um, I think, getting the script in in the best shape possible. Yeah. And even the script, it was like, the, for the competition, it was like we had 15 minutes. And um, the, the ultimate version we sent out was 18. And then what we had, it ended up being 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole backstory to the caregiver. Um, we had to cut that down. Um, I think just getting the script in really good shape, where I'm happy with it, <clears throat> that was the biggest challenge. Yeah, and, and time. Yeah, Just, you know, is... you you don't get all the shots you wanted. No, what I mean, nothing. what what's wonderful is you've made this from a competition. Yeah, and now it's out there at film festivals at New right. Film and Gazette. What is that experience like to then be like? We we got nominated for an here. Emmy. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, and I'm like, it was. This is literally the last thing on the planet yeah. I was expecting. It's great because it's like open doors for me. Yeah. But um, we made we made it for a competition. We won and then um, Jody Silly, who's in charge of the San Diego Film Consortium, said, can we have lunch? I think this is phenomenal. Here's some money. Go submit to film festivals and... Well, I mean, what, but is, is, is that just kind of breathtaking when you've, you've gone into the process? Because I mean, you know, I mean, besides, you know, there's not many films in the short format that get nominated for an Emmy. No. It's a very, you know, it's actually a lot harder than just getting a, a you know, an Emmy that's like for an actress or a TV show, right. because there's so much more short films out there. What was that feeling like? And then having people coming to you and saying, hey, I want to fund you for film festivals. Yeah. I mean, that's just got to be mind blowing. It is. I mean, this is all I've ever wanted to do. Yeah. And then because of circumstances I have in San Diego, we have a small but mighty film uh, community. Um, and this was just kind of practice. Yeah. Um, like we just finished like a full length feature that we want to do, but like, like it was practice. And then when you're like, people are telling you that this is, your practice is like good enough. Yeah, isn't that it, wow. it, it confirmed for me, like, my wildest dreams. Oh, I really I did. It. You know, like I just been. It, it changed everything. It changed how I think about myself. And oh. yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I love yeah. that. I love that so much. Um, uh, what now that you've made this film and, and going through this incredible journey with this particular film, um, what what kind of advice would now you share in your career thus far to, to filmmakers out there? Yeah. Because you know you've accomplished beyond what people's wildest dreams right. are yourself. What would you kind of give? My people? advice? Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Um, I think that the number one, what, what I see, um, you know, as someone who like judges film festivals and things like, the thing that always, 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 always needs the most work is the script. Yeah. The story. Iron that out, get that perfect, you know? Mm -hmm. 
um, and then do it. Like, yeah. fail. Yeah. You learn better by failing than anything else. Yeah. I'm so happy by everything I messed up on, every mistake I made. I, I learned, and so when it's time to do something that's, that I think really warrants and deserves to be in the world, yeah. you're not gonna make that mistake on that. Yeah. You know, so it can be in the world, as opposed that. to a bad sound or like bad dialogue. It's, yeah. You know, it, oh. gets, it gets to live, it gets people, it can move people, so that's it, my advice. I know, and do it, essentially. Just, do it yeah. and, and fail, like, and, yeah. and, and get, get over it and keep doing it. Yeah, oh, love it. Um, what is next for you? Well, um, a couple things we have a we're doing this some um the comp the next competition we won that one and that movie is called kathy and that's on the film circuits right now um i'm very it's a completely different movie it's about um uh a, a, a boy and his mother and the mother's friends held exorcisms in their living room <laughs> and it's a true story oh wow uh but we, we made it over like a yeah. horror comedy yeah um and then we are doing that competition again in the fall, and we just finished a sh another short that we'll fin film in November. And then um, my friend wrote a book called Creepy Little Death Poems, which is a short little book, mm -hmm. and I adapted it loosely and then kind of turned it into something bigger than it is. Um, and it was for the Women uh, Making a Scene competition. Yeah, yeah. And we won the best writing for that, and we hope to make that into a movie. Our goal is to make it next summer. Oh, that's the yeah. most exciting things coming for you. So exciting. So, yeah. And I just don't want to start. I just want to keep doing it. Yeah. So well, fun. I think the one thing that not everybody can get is, you know, you have a style yeah, of film, which I love. And I, I love the star of this film. And I, and I love that you're creating new themes and new elements still with, still with your touch on it, which is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. You know, because it's very impressive to do that. Can I um, retcon something? You said course. advice. That, that would be another piece of advice. Find your voice. Yes. Yeah. You know. It's true. You know, because maybe they've got to be a certain way, but if you find the voice within yourself and, mm -hmm. and, and put that element out there, I right. think that's so important. Know what moves you, yeah. and anything that is specific becomes universal. Yeah. I believe. Do it, fail, find your voice. Yeah. There you go. Jonathan, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much for your film, and we're looking forward to seeing much more of your work. So Great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Danny. Congratulations. Thank you.